These days, we're used to being watched while we shop. But consumer group Choice has found retailers Bunnings, Kmart and The Good Guys are using more than just CCTV to keep an eye on us. Some cameras at their stores use facial recognition, scanning features to create unique face prints. It's the equivalent to Kmart or Bunnings asking for your fingerprint or your DNA every time you enter into the store. The companies say it's to prevent theft. There are strict controls around the use of the technology. It is not used for marketing or consumer behaviour tracking. This is the message outside Kmart stores. Facial recognition mentioned here. What we don't know is really important questions about how this information is being stored, how is it being used for other purposes such as marketing. It's sci-fi for now, but face prints and spending habits could one day be used to create hyper-targeted advertising. John Anderson, you could use a Guinness right about now. And there are more sinister applications. In China, facial recognition is common and used to track and detain Uyghurs. In Australia, experts say it's also notoriously inaccurate. While there is a degree of accuracy for middle class white guys like me, people of colour, women, the, the systems are less robust because they're not being built by those sorts of people. Last year, the Human Rights Commission recommended a moratorium on facial recognition technology until the country can ensure it's used responsibly. For now, the space remains largely unregulated and retailers are free to scan away. They tell you one thing, but what they're going to do, you never know. I'd say it's a step too far. I don't trust anyone, let alone corporations. There has to be some kind of like AI security that like, you know, keeps a check on the people. So I guess it's a necessary evil. Choice says the regulator needs to intervene to make sure consumer rights are protected. Ruby Cornish, ABC News, Sydney.